Greetings, creative folks. Straight from the bunker, Turkey Buzzard Productions presents the Major Reviews CAD Program Evaluations on Linux Mint 17.3 Rosa. This is the Major. About two months ago, I posted a video of my Rhino installations, and I attempted to install Rhino 5 using Play on Linux. I got it to install and run, but it was so crash prone that at the time I deemed it unusable and moved on. Well, great day in the morning if Nathan from McNeil didn't clue me in that I should have been using Crossover Linux. Apparently the good folks at Code Weavers have set up an install routine that accomplishes both installation and stability of use. Dylan Dank and many thanks from us here at the bunker to both the Crossover Linux team and Nathan at McNeil. The world's most versatile 3D modeler actually runs on Linux Mint 17. Woohoo! Just download the 90 day trial, the link is in the video description. The Crossover install routine points to the download page as well. Open a crossover application, click on install Windows software, click browse available applications, and under scientific, technical, and math, pick CAD and EDA, and scroll down to Rhino 3D5, highlight it, and hit continue. Now navigate to the downloaded Rhino trial file and click open. Let the program install to a new Windows 7 wine bottle. You can rename it to whatever you like. Click install and finish and you're off and running. Now the crossover install routine has been developed to include just a metric ton of Microsoft software, some of which requires a EULA agreement. If that bothers you, please don't install Rhino using this method. As you see, Internet Explorer 7 must have some libraries that Rhino needs for display purposes or who knows what. Then just kick back, relax, grab yourself a cup of coffee, some tea, whatever you like, and let the machine do the installation. So we just installed a whole bunch of Microsoft software, including a bunch of .NET stuff that Microsoft was kind enough to recently make open source. To the folks at Redmond, we appreciate that. And after all that, we're finally ready to start installing Rhinoceros 5. Here we go. Keep in mind that Crossover Linux is a commercial application. Pay the licensing fees for your commercial apps. That being said, Rhinoceros can be licensed through Novedge.com for $790 US dollars for a commercial license, $129 US dollars for students, uh, and upgrades are roughly half the price of a new license. Not cheap, but well worth the investment. Now this may actually turn into a regular feature here at the bunker, Rhinoceros for the young artist or some such thing. If that interests you, please leave a comment in the space below and we shall see what we can do. And Rhinoceros is loading for the first time, figuring out all of his toolbars and whatnot. And here we have the regular startup loading screens for Rhino 5. 90 days left on the trial. Pick your template file, which file you uh, like to start with every time Rhino opens. And I can see we're having a little bit of video display difficulty here. I might have to check in to see what's causing that. All in all, looks like a pretty clean install. I've been running this actually for a couple days now and I haven't seen a crash yet, so that's very promising. 
Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more awesome reviews. Have a great day.